Subscribe to Roops 10 Gaming before the 15th of December for your chance to win this painted Araman figure. Welcome to Roots 10 Gaming and this is 3,500 points worth of Horus Heresy. Blood Angels versus Lunar Wolves. Right guys, okay so we've got a standard deployment zone of Dawn of War and we're playing mission 4 from the uh, Heresy rulebook which is Dominion and we've actually done the alternative setup where it's actually going to be terrain pieces so we've got to try and capture this uh, truck there's this whole piece of ruin here which you have to try and capture we're going to try and capture the landing pad this building and that building over there. Now we've not rolled to see which side we're deploying on yet. We'll get to that in a moment. But we're going to take you across to the armies. I'm going to take you across to my Blood Angels first. So this is 3,500 points worth of Blood Angels Heresy. So we're not doing the 8th edition one today. We're actually doing the Heresy edition. So leading my army is my Warlord. That's a Praetor with Blade of Perdition, I believe it's called. Uh, plus Inferno Pistol. And he's got a 5 man bodyguard unit. Uh, with two power swords, well, two power weapons in this edition, and a power fist, including the guy with the banners. Uh, I've also got a chaplain as well, backing him up with Inferno Pistol and a power maul. He's got the Crosserus, but I always use him as power mauls. And the other HQ I've actually got is a Primus Medicare. He's over there. So my troops, two compulsory units, two 15 men of uh, assault marines uh, one uh, both of them has got power sword and plasma pistol one of them in each squad has either got a power fist or they've got a thunder hammer uh, I, be I do believe i've upgraded some of the sergeants have artificer armor but we'll probably find out which ones while we're playing in the game because i've kind of forgot uh and then uh, backing those up we've got a five man plasma gun team tactical support squad and um, we've got a 10-man breacher unit. Now, the breachers, I've got a dedicated transport, Land Raider Proteus, just with the heavy, uh, with the uh, multi-melter on top. No real other upgrades on there. And then, for another elite's choice, I've got three apothecaries. So, i uh, basically got the uh, two with uh, jump packs to join the jump pack units. And we've got one standard... Uh, they've all got power swords. They haven't got artificer armor. Another elite's choice is my uh, Contempt of Dread. And that's going to have a twin last cannon and uh, a flamer in his power fist. Then we've got a unit of 10 Terminators, uh, all armed with combi bolters, a couple of chain fists, and two storm, two assault cannons, which the Blood Angels are allowed to have. They're going to be mounted up in their dedicated transport of a Legion Spartan. Standard one, but of course you've got to take Flare Shield. So of course I have taken Flare Shield on that, which will make it quite hard to actually take down. And then two units of Heavy Support, one unit of Volkite, and one unit of Las Cannons. I'm hoping that'll be enough to take on Mills. And we're looking sideways across the table, he has got quite a lot of infantry. Right, let's take you over to Craig's army. Mr Mills is back on the channel. All right, Mr Mills. Yay! I do. Right, what we're rocking today then, sir? Uh. Vanguard. <laughs> no. yeah. Oh, I forgot you got bikes. That might be a bit tricky. There's uh, a hell of a lot of infantry here, Greg. Yeah, that's because in the past I made a really, really wise decision to go, I'll, I'll sell these because I don't use them. I've got quite a bit more. And then when I come to play a game, it's like... Got no tanks. Oh, I got rid of them all. <laughs> Like me seven flyers. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah. It did used to have seven flyers at one point. That was actually pretty insane. I'll have to build that back up, won't I? Definitely. Right, what are we rocking today, then, sir? Uh, we have a Praetor with Paragon Blade and Volkite Charger. Yep. He's got digital we digital lasers. Oh well, yeah, mine's got digital weapons. Apologies, Iron Halo as well on my commander. Yeah, Iron Halo. Even though he's um with Cataphract, <laughs> it's Tartarus. <laughs> We've got. Master at Signal. Yep. Although he's not contacting anybody at a minute. No, his, his antenna has been snapped. Um, bog standard note on him. He's yep. just Master at Signal. I've got Siege Breaker yep. with Combi Volkite and Thunder Armor. He is in Cataphract Armor. Yep. We've then got two troops. Yep. Both exactly the same. Uh, two 20 man tacticals with a Vox 
Yeah. Not a Vox, a Vexilla. Yeah. Um, Sergeant with Power Fist. Yep. And all with extra combat blades. Oh, yeah, yeah. He's all got them. If you look on the figures, they have all got the blades on there in their sheaves. Um, 72 tacticals. Uh, elites, I have a Contemptor. Yep. With two close combat weapons, two plasma blast guns. Yep. Uh, and that's it. Mm -hmm. Ten Terminators. Yep. And Cataphract, two plasma blasters. Couple of chain fists in there, isn't yeah. There? Five chain fists and five power fists. Yep. Uh, that's me elites. Me fast attack is Dreadclaw. Yep. The bike squad. Yep. Um, bike squad is power fist on sergeant and three power weapons. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And seeker squad. Oh, need to get around to painting those. Yep. Uh, these are all combi plasma. These are more expensive than probably... <laughs> these are about as expensive as those. <laughs> that doesn't surprise me by arming them all with combi plasma, to be honest. And with it being the 7th edition yeah. game, it's only one shot yeah. per plasma gun. Yeah, but... Should be devastating, yeah. But, you know why I built them, don't you? Yeah. Just for Mortalis. Oh, yeah. Zone Mortalis. They are incredibly useful in Zone Mortalis games, which is why... I have a heavy flamer squad. <laughs> it's so more talents. I outrage. They're, in, they're insane. Uh, so those are me. Uh, again, Sergeant has a power fist. Yep. And they all have combi plasmas. Okay. That's it. Um, I have a 10 man melter gun team. Yep. No close combat weapons at all. Right, no on them. They're the sacrificial lamb. I have a 10 man Volkite squad. Oh, yes. Volkites, we do like Volkites in this, four shots apiece. Love it. You know, it's all these infantry. All these noobs that's like, ah, oh, plasma. Yeah, yeah. No, Volkites, where no. it's at. Yeah, definitely. And uh, I'm guessing that's a 10 man rocket launcher team. Yep. And then the last of his support is the Deredio. There is no rockets, no. I ain't got the point. But he does wield that lovely twin, is it like God Hammer last cannon or something? Stupid Colts? Can't remember. It's Summit. Oh, Achilles or something, I think. While well, he's looking for that, we've both rolled as Warlord traits already. Mine has um, Paladin of Glory, <coughs> which basically means that I'm going to be... He's fearless, and any units within six are also fearless. And Mills has rolled up Void Walker. So one of his units is going to be able to deep strike. He also gains Adamantium Will, but I've got no Psychers. So that's not going to be, uh, not going to be that great for this one. Oh. It's... Arachnus Heavy Laz Cannon Battery. 48 inch range, strength 10, AP2, Heavy 2, and Exoshock. And Exoshock is if this weapon successfully scores a penetrating hit on a target, roll a D6, and on a 4 plus, the second automatic penetrating hit is inflicted on the same target, which cover saves may not be taken. Spartan's going to have to try and avoid that, of course, I think. We did play it, use that in the big game, but that was when we were using 8th edition Heresy rules from the fan made site, and it didn't really last that long. But I'll be honest with you, it's a bit harder in this one, and it's got a chance of taking out my land raiders quite <coughs> easily. Right, let's get set up on the battlefield and take you to our game. This video is sponsored by Barnes and Models and Games. Visit www.barnesandmodelsandgames.co.uk for all your wargaming needs. So a bit of a nice deployment, I ended up with this side of the battlefield and I deployed first. So I'm going to be getting the first turn unless Mills can seize. Got a unit of Assault Marines plus Apothecary and um, Chaplain down here, <coughs> backed up by the Contempt of Dreadnought. Unit on top, of course, is the Last Cannon team, backed up by the Apothecary. And then I've got a unit, my Command Squad down here with the Commander attached. We've got the Spartan with the Terminators plus the Primaris Apothecary in there. And then, of course, the Volkites are outside in the little ruins of the uh, little bit of uh, section ruin there. Plasma guns inside the building. And then this with the Breacher team, just kind of hiding against that the radio. And then the final unit of Assault Marines with the Apothecary. I've not got anything coming in reserve or deep strike. Mills does. Mills has got his Terminators and he's got the Melter Gun team in that um, nasty, nasty Dreadclaw thing. Scattered ice. Oh yeah, he need, we do need scattered ice in this game. Uh, 
that's why I'm so spread out. And templates. Yep. Oh yeah. I best go and get my templates out. And then we've got these units over here. This is his Seekers. Um, he does have his bikes. Bikes are going to have to be careful through some of the terrain because you have to do dangerous terrain tests. Massive blob squad there with the uh, heavy weapon team behind them. And then the Siege Breaker attached to a heavy weapon unit. Another blob squad down here with the Lord. Let's have a look. Yeah. And then of course the Contemptor with the twin plasma holding up Mills' right flank including the radio. Plus, of course, the Volkite guy. So it's going to be, I'm going to be running into a T for guns by the looks of this. Mills does get a benefit and a bonus to find within 12 inches. Uh, he gets a plus one to hit, I believe. Death dealer, yes. Death dealer for his Sons of Horus. Yeah, if I get in combat with him, I get a plus one to wound him. I also get a combat benefit, though, as well, don't I? Yeah, you do. If I you outnumber do. you at yeah. the initiative phase one, yeah. I get to hit you again. Well, everybody that's already fought gets to hit you again with a single attack. Yeah. But yeah, my uh, my blood angels get the one plus one to wounding, so I'm going to be hitting him on uh, fours and then wounding him on threes. So that's not too bad, to be honest. Right. Let's. Uh, I've got first turn in Mills. Let's see if he sees. If you want to, you don't have to. I'm kind of a bit scared at last cannon team, to be fair. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm, your bikers only have one wound piece in this. They've not got two wounds, and it is twos to wound them. It's, uh, it's a very it's, different game. We've been playing a lot of eighth. And to come into this one, that's why we're so, I'm so spread out. Mills is dense because, because he knows he doesn't have any, I don't have any blast markers. But the Spartan can run forward with its uh, payload and get the payload out, and the payload can oh, charge. I and... plan that payload to be dropped then before it even gets out of that squad. <laughs> But the last cannons is a big last cannon team. I've got to try and get rid of them. That right. last cannon team is going to annoy the at me. Yes! He's done it! He's going to get first turn. I can't stop him from doing that. Right, okay. In Let's... fact, you know what's going to be the biggest change to this game? Go on. Re roll that. Re roll that. Uh, Two points to pass yeah. me, Cavante. No, no. No, no can't do it. points here. Yeah, if they break, if I hammer some of his squads and they break. There's a um, chance they'll run off a table. I've got Vexillas. Yours aren't. Uh, well, I have in the thingy squad. <laughs> what? Breaches have got it. Oh, yeah, Breaches have, but what I mean yeah, is... I can't have it on the assault units. Yeah, but he's got a chaplain. Yep, that's got a chaplain, and any unit within six inch of him is fearless. <coughs> uh, it's this unit I'm a bit worried about down here. Right, go on then, sir. Let's get into your turn one. So we're ready for some shooting phases. Uh, Mills has slowly trudged across because we completely forgot it's 2d6 when you're rolling to then pick the highest when you're moving through terrain. Unless you've got move through cover and then it's 3d6 and pick the highest. Which I think Dreads and that have, but we'll check that later. Right, okay, what are you going to be shooting with first then, uh, sir? I am actually going to do something which I completely forgot about. Okay. And I'm going to do my orbital bombardment first. Who from? My master at signal. Oh, yep. Yeah. He's got an orbital bombardment because he hasn't moved. And he can be targeted at something he can see, which will minus off his ballistic skill, or it can be targeted at something he can't see. So it could be these guys here. And it's a hit. So that's going to be well whacked on, and that's going to be at least four of them. So it's twos to wound. He's got four of them. I've got a cover save of five plus. Because it's AP3 and it's going to smash straight through my power armour. So I only save one. So the origin wow. of the blast was there. Yeah, it was in the uh, yep. centre so of blast. It'll be... Because it's not closest first, because it's barrage, isn't it? Yeah, so it's going to be them three. And they're going to have to take a break test at the end of the shooting phase. Next one, sir. Next one. Crap. <laughs> Right, I'm guessing they're shooting at these over here. Yeah, because I don't like some stuff that can move far. Yeah, fast. right. We'll let him gather his dice. So we're going to do two rounds. First lot, because he hasn't got enough dice, because it's four shots apiece. So the first 20. Is that 20? Yeah. Yeah, that's five. Five guys. And he's going to need free stick, because he's got relentless, even though he moved, because of some special rules. Ooh, that wasn't uh, too cracking there. Roll them to wound then, sir. You know the best bit about these, Volkai? Yeah. These are twos to wound. Oh, yeah, because it's strength six, six, aren't they? So it's twos to wound with these. 
So that's two fail. That's going to be three, six, seven saves so far. And then the second lot. And these are defragulate, not cause two wounds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So any failed saves will cause additional hits. That's better. It's a lot better. It's going to work. It's better. It's a lot better. Five, Ten, 10, 10 15, 16. So You've 16 plus, yep, so that's going to be 23 saves on them. So it's an AP of 5, so I've got 23 armour saves of 3 plus, because it's better than the cover. Ooh, it's not looking good, that. Hell, there's quite a lot there. Yeah, there is. Thank you, Jake. A proper carry now, feel no pain. 3, 4, 5, 6... So seven will go down, which means you do seven additional hits. So yeah, you can use the dice gun, which causes another six wounds. Keep them there, so I remember. Two fails, and I feel no pain. Ah, so those additional hits didn't cause anything, but I did lose seven from the front. He's done a little bit of small arms, some bolters over here into those guys, taking out one of the plasma gun team, and uh, he's going to now fire the rockets into here. Yeah, this is to try and take out my last guns. This is the key point. If I don't take these out, this is <laughs> I'm going to lose a lot. Well, so all right, take that. What's the siege breaker do now? He rerolls armor penetration, so there's ah, no effect. Right. No on effect these. on these, but he does need but twos. I can't hit your armor at minute, so no. No, he does need target twos. Priority is. You've got seven. Oof. Now, even though I've got an apothecary with him, which gives him a five up feel no pain, it doesn't stop instant death. Which is it's double the toughness, it causes instant death. So I'm not gonna get a save, I'm just gonna get my standard cover save, which is a four plus in ruins. So I lose two. That's that wasn't a bad, bad roll. It wasn't a bad roll. But it still means break test. Quarter of them have gone down. And so you're just going to do some runs? Yeah, I'll do a couple of runs. All right, roll for them then. So we'll just put it on camera. So they're going to run two, two. inch and then. Bikes. <laughs> I don't think bikes can run. Can they not? We'll check that. Um, and yeah. And then these. Six. 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 Nice. So nope. we'll check the bikes and then we'll probably be coming back <laughs> to it to just show my uh, morale test. Right, so it's just been checked, yeah, you can run. So those units there have ran, and I'm just going to take some morales. So the guys over here, oh, they failed. That's <laughs> bad. That's bad. I think they're going to be running off the table. Um, the heavy weapon team, they're all right. Second heavy weapon team, they're okay. But it's 3D6 fallback. Is it 3 Oh, it's 3D6. Because it's salt range. Yep. Yeah, they're off table, so they're running off. <laughs> oh, that's uh, that's a bit bad. I've uh, lost a full assault unit in turn one. Oh dear. I, that, Never mind. That's right, moved up a little bit. These guys have jumped up here. Unfortunately, caused a bit of a wound to myself with dangerous terrain. Uh, the assault marines have gone down that flank. They're going to try and get hold of those guys. Before you carry on. Yeah. Isn't that rule still in effect that when you land on a building with a flat top, you don't suffer, you don't have to take dangerous terrain? Because I did that to you with yes. my assault marines. That is a very good point, that Mills, actually. Thank you very much for that. So that's, uh, yeah, that's not uh, suffered. I did manage to get a six of these guys, so these guys <laughs> are moving up quicker than uh, Mills is. And my tanks have rolled forward. Both got machine spirits, so it's going to allow me to fire two weapons at full ballistic, one weapon at uh, snap. At snap. And the second weapon at four ballistic can target a different unit. So I'm going to go with me Contemptor first. So I'm going to snap fire a heavy bolter. Contemptor's over there, mate. Sorry. Yeah, that one. Spartan. <laughs> Just, that Spartan. I wanted the last cannons to be able to see the heavy weapon team over there. But unfortunately it can't because it has to be taken from the point of the weapon. So this last cannon on four ballistic plus that on snap is going to fire into those tactical marines. And then the other one over here. He's going to fire into that the radio in cover. So, 
First off is that heavy bolter needing sixes with re-rolls because it's twin linked. Hey! Needing threes to wound. Two wounds. Two wounds and it's a standard armor save. And he loses them one man. And then Wars. two last cannons. Same yep. One. Two last cannons into that squad. It's not four, it's just two with twin linked. Both of them have hit. It's twos to wound. One wound. And it's an AP of two, so it'll smash through his armor, but he's got a four plus cover save. Yeah. No, so he loses another marine. Not enough to cause him to take a break, <coughs> though, unfortunately. But still enough to uh, hopefully cause some problems. And then the twin linked last cannon from here, hitting that thing in the front armor. It's freeze to hit oh, with re rolls for fails. Yep. I'll just find some uh, arm volume. Yes. So, <laughs> I'll roll the dice. I've got a five and a two. I don't think the two is going to do anything, but the five might. Right then, so, yep, he's been penetrated, hit. Nope. He's no. failed his save, so now I roll this plus one. So that's going to be a three. I'm not quite sure what that does. So that's a crew shaken, so he's only going to be down to two hole points and he's only going to be firing on snap in the next turn. Um, did I fire that? I didn't fire that, did I? I didn't no, fire. I don't think you did. We were on about. <laughs> is it worth firing into Spartan? And we were looking at profiles, and we got sidetracked, didn't we? <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> we're too far gone now to go back. <laughs> well, it's only two shots at your front arm, weren't it? Yeah, yeah, we're going to be. Uh, right, we've just rolled it, and he got two hits, but he didn't penetrate the armor. Right, there we are. The flare shield makes flare a big, shield. big difference on it. It does. Yeah, the flare shield's on these minus one to the strength. Means last cannon's gonna oh, that those rockets can't even hurt it. From no, front. It can't. I can't hurt it from front. And a standard last cannon needs sixes to pen. Yeah, well sixes to glance. Oh yeah. That sorry, special yeah. last cannon needed six, fives to penetrate, fives to glance, six to penetrate. Right, gonna go with the second one. So machine spirit that last cannon into him. Yep. Over there. The multi melter will also join that and snap firing. And then the second one will fire into that the radio. So the first last cannon. It hits, and I think they're armor 13 at the front. So 9, 10, 11, 12, bounces off. The multi melter needs a 6. Hits. <laughs> I was just about to say, Eight. have you measured it? Nope. No. No, it's fine, I didn't do anything. No. And then the one against the other guy. So that's a hit. Uh, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. It's a glancing hit. He's saved that one though, so that one bounces off. Hmm, I thought that vehicles were harder in 8th edition. It seemed quite hard in this one, to be honest. Right. Right. So these two Volkite are going to open fire into those guys. Freeze to hit. Oh, some terrible... I got two. That is, that is <laughs> bad, that. This is revenge for the uh, the game with the wall, to be honest with you, mate. Because uh, your dice were awful on that one. Two to wound, though. Two wounds. Both saved. Both saved. Oh, I'm not, not doing very well here. Not doing very well. Let's see what these plasma guns can shoot at. I'm going to try and target the Volkite because they are hideous. So, I need threes to hit. I didn't roll any ones. I need twos to wound. Strength seven. So, that's three. Now, we check which one is the closest. And if he's in cover, he gets to save. If him. not, he's going to die. That's one gone. Then he's going to die. And then the rest, then the other one will get a cover save. And no. No, so he lost three, which is a good thing for me because it does mean he has to take a break test on those now. Which hopefully does exactly the same as my assault marine. <laughs> I very much doubt it will happen like that. Right, the three last cannons. Can't see much. Got some smoke here obscuring the uh, bikers. So I might take a couple of pot shots at my opposite team over there. So three shots, last cannons into his last cannon team. Two hits, <coughs> two to wound. Oh, one again. Two wounds, and he's got two saves of five plus. Yeah, normally it would be four for sort of ruins, but we said that whole piece would be a five up cover save. Because, of course, it means that the one in front is not changed. Okay, twin link last cannon from this guy. He's going to also go into the... Missile launcher team, what am I rolling two dice for? <laughs> well, you hit me one anyway. Well, I'll, yeah, okay, roll to wound. Yep, it's a wound, so one hit, one wound. And it's a save. And that would even be a save in 8th edition 40k. Yeah, no. ping off. 
so far I'm liking eighth edition a lot more than seven. <laughs> <laughs> right, let's get some pistol shot. So brake test for these guys. Oh, all right. they're okay. They're all right. And then no other brake test to take. They only lost two guys. Yeah. Right, let's get on with some charging. These guys are going to charge over there. We're going to do the overwatch and everything else off camera. So these guys have suffered some overwatch fire, no casualties. I tried to do a charge. I got an eight, but you have to minus two in the seventh edition for any terrain. And you have to get into base to base contact. So a six inch means I'm out. There's no command points for me to be able to re-roll one of those dice either. So they failed to charge, but not bad. Uh, not as good as Mills's first turn there. And he's gonna have a chance to get some of these guys in. So we're gonna go into Mills's turn two. Yep. Uh, do you want to roll for your reserves while we've got the camera on? Yeah. yeah. Uh, drop pod. Drop pod with the unit in. Is in. Is definitely, yep, it's coming in. Terminators. Terminators. They're He's also in. coming in as well. Right. So Mills has got this down here with his melter guns. I'm not taking arm and ceramite. That might mean the end of the land raider. And this unit's coming down here. It's that way, seven inches right into the building. He's not going to be within an inch, I don't think, of any enemy units. I think I will uh, I think I might be all right. Yeah, yeah, I think you're good. I've just got to make Oof. sure I get all my men. Yeah, around. <coughs> Found it. Right. <coughs> so, these guys have all moved forward. The bikes are trying to hammer into the assault marines. That's going to be deadly. And, of course, the seekers are running forward. They're probably going to pour some right plasma of death into my face. Um, these guys, of course, I showed you down here, <laughs> and the Terminators ended up up here. They can't do any movement or they can shoot, but they can't do any assaulting. Right. So he's going to go with his uh, wounded radio first. Yep. And that's going to go into the Spartan, or is he going to go no, into? He's, he's going to go into that. He's going to go into because he's got more chance of actually penetrating that vehicle. Well, your breaches in there, so yes, yeah. I'm hoping if I can get your breaches out, then maybe my contempt might have a chance of a bit of some Oh, yeah, cuffs. that's true. That is true. Oh. He got two hits. Stop firing. He's got two ah, but hits. You know what it is, though, now, don't you? <laughs> strength 10. Well, it's armor 14, it's strength 10. It's, it's going to go. Yeah. Give me, two, give me two ones. I do get a fire up cover save as well because he's having to fire through the trees. Here we go. One glancing hit, so he's not going to destroy the vehicle. And I don't bounce off. I can't remember how many of these actually have. I think it's four. But yeah, Spartans, yeah, have, got Spartans have got five. Spartans have got five. They've got four. So, next one. Um, Some plasma gun death coming into these plasma blasters. I was going to check about plasma into your vehicle and then I remembered, oh yeah, it can't hurt it in this anymore. <laughs> yeah, because it's only strength seven, so it can't hurt armor 14. That's his issue that he's got with this vehicle here with the flare shield on. His rocket launcher team can't even hurt it. But it's these guys at the back that's going to mess I'll me up. I'll fire two plasma blasters yep. into these. No problem. Uh, is it a blast weapon? No. It's assault. Called, it's called a plasma blaster, Yeah. but it's an assault 18. Yeah, two shots into it. Yeah. yeah. Right, roll head. Any ones you get a glancing hit? Contemptors are twos to it, aren't they? Yes. That's all four. That's all four wounded. This is going to be devastating. I've got a four up cover save for being in ruins. And he was in range of all of them. So I lose two. So that's them two gone down. It's going to be another break test for that squad in this game. Right then, sir. The Volkite. Yep. How did you lose? Three. The yeah, Volkite will three. fire. I'm going to wait. I'm going to fire my uh, melter guns first. Okay. I might be able to whittle some Terminators, Terminators. down. Good idea. So we've got ten melter guns. Yep. I think, sorry for keeping the, I think you're all, no, right, okay, so putting that at the back, three of them are not within melter range. That's all right. So, so one, two, yep. Three of them. Three of them, yep. So, so but these are all twos to hit. They are. <laughs> because of the death dealer rule. Yes. Yeah, dirty. That was a hit, don't worry about it. That was a hit. 
it's a hit anyway, even when you're knocking it. Right, so, roll the two blues together, mate. You might as well, because they're only going to be a single D6. Well, that's what I mean. If I get a six on them... Well, that's true. And they're right, going to be true, strength pens, aren't they? Yeah, strength eight. Right, so the six, they're not going to do anything. They're going to be at least a six, so that's eight. That's going to be 14, so they're going to be penetrations that's, automatic. So they're four pens. They, you're going to have to roll, a, yep, so an that additional one. one for that one. That'll be so a glancing. And an additional one for that one. That does that nothing. nothing. When in actual fact, that is going to be five wounds I can't save on the Spartan. But it's if I make it explode. But well, it don't matter, it's five glances, it's five hull points. So it will be dead. Yeah, but what but I mean is... They might make it explode, that's true. That's so, what I mean. Go on in, sir. Roll them dice. Plus two to them. AP one. It explodes. It's explode. Now, let me check rules for exploding the tanks. So that vehicle's gone. It only had a one inch explosion, so it didn't really hurt anything. And uh, basically I lost a Terminator as well from the ensuing vehicle. I do need to take a pin in check on those, actually. I'm fine. <sighs> yeah, that would have been, <laughs> yeah. been funny. So they're all right as well. So I'm guessing the Volkites now then, uh, Craig. Yeah, yeah, got Volkites. Into the Terminator. Volkites can have a go. So I've got seven, haven't I? You have. One, two, three, four. There's more dice over here, oh, you're fine. Yeah. Five. Six, seven. So he's going to need freeze to hit, but he can actually plus I am that gonna guy. Plus, I'm going to plus one yeah. to where. Because he the didn't do that off. last time, no, because he fired his, his uh, orbital bombardment. bombardment. So this one is going to be plus one to hit. Yep, so it's going to be twos to hit and twos to wound. Put it down here. Yep. Need a lot more space. Yeah, there's the one there as well. Right, that's uh, that's pretty good. That yeah. <laughs> this is gonna work. You get two up saves. I know. And a five you, you, plus. You said it now. <laughs> so a couple of ones in there. A one as well, yeah. So That's going to be painful. Five, yeah. Ten, ten. fifteen, nineteen. Oh man, nineteen two plus six. Ah, bad there, mate. Crap. Five ups. Five now, ups. So I lost two. God two damn it. Another two wounds. Another two wounds because of the Volkite rule, and they're fine. That is going to be a break test for those, right? No, that'd be bad. Yes. I do have a habit of rolling really high when it comes to break testing, obviously. Only when you um, need your table edge. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Right. I'm uh, getting chewed up by this infantry armor here. Uh, yeah, I thought, I thought my, more shots will be so coming my way. He can't see, because he's back here. Yeah. Everyone else can. They're not actually on the roof, they're actually no, down they're, on the they're ground, underneath. so they're going to be okay. Right. Yeah, pretty so much to... I'm, how many did I lose out of that squad? Lost about... 3, 6, 9, 12, 13... I've got 17 guys to shoot at you, because one of them can't see. Righty up! And you can't do Fury at Legion because you've moved. Yeah, I'll not be doing Fury at Legion on two guys. Don't know. No. I might do Fury at Legion on your command squad. Oh, right, yeah, yeah, yeah. But I need to see him to do that. That is true. So, he's not within the short range, so it's going to be freeze. And he's going to need force to win. That's going to be five. Six. Six. So, I'm going to have to roll these separately. That's a sergeant in there, and he does have artificer armor. So, well, I think the sergeant is the sergeant closest. First, yep. Is it? is it? Yep. So I need to roll one at a time. So he's dead. <laughs> Great. <laughs> and then he's dead as well. Wicked. So I've lost <laughs> our entire unit down there. <laughs> <coughs> doing, doing well so far. Doing well so far. <laughs> You've still got your long raider. 
Uh, I'm losing men left, right, and centre, though. Your casualty pile is not as high as mine. No, I'm doing definitely well. not. You're doing a lot better. But, doing well. but right. your command squad, your command squad normally hits a unit. If a command squad hits a unit it. and walks through it, then that'll be a game changer. But it's uh, it's going to be uh, oh, it's going to hopefully was... down into whatever I do in some assault phases. Mm. Right, what's your next unit, sir? It would be these guys. Because they've all got different sort of, because they've all got plasmas, uh, we've done them all the shooting, the hit rolls off camera. The bolt was already fired from the sergeant, he didn't do anything because I've already taken the saves. And Mills did lose two to overheat. But this is how many hits he's got, and he needs twos to wound. Oh, that one again. So he's failed two, and that's going to be. Nine. Nine saves. Now, I'm going to have to take these, these are going to have to be different because. <coughs> The closest two, these two, are not in cover. So four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So the closest two are not in cover, but it's not instant death. So we do get the fill no pain. So them two die. That's two gone. And then that one is in cover. And the rest of them... You've got four before it gets to anybody. Yeah, anybody significant. So four saves need fives. No, no, sorry, sixes, because it's craters. So, so one, one saved. And then, feel no pain, didn't. No. So then three go. They've got, we even have to have, that's one, be got one, one guy left. One guy left, we've got three. So five up, no. Sorry, six up, five up, no. So he goes down, and then we're hitting characters. Now the next one up, so we've got yeah. two hits left. It's gonna be the apothecary, I'm gonna try and allocate it to a different bloke. Nope, so it hits the apothecary. He hasn't got out of Pfizer armor, so it's a six. Oh, it's a five up. So he's saved. And same again for the last one. Does it deviate? Yes. So take it onto somebody else that's in cover. No, no cover save, but I did feel no pain. So I lost five there. And then we've got the bolter, actually. Oh, they've got relentless, so they can fire the bolters and Don't. charge. Because you can't fire bolters and charge. So they're not gonna be able to fire, they're not gonna be able to charge because they fired rapid anyway, by fire. Yeah. But well, these guys are going to be able to do it. So Mills' rocket team is next. He's going to open fire with nine shots against these. He can't see this one, but he can see the other three. So this is going to be painful. Go ahead, sir. Needs threes to hit. All hit. All hit. Needs twos to win. I'm going to lose my last cannons as well here. Yeah? So you've got seven. <coughs> Six. Seven. I don't think I don't think I'm allowed to go to ground being a blood angel, am I? I think you can. I think it's just in that stops you from going to ground. Yeah. I'm gonna go to ground. <laughs> Increase it to a three plus invulnerable save. Rather than the uh, So I lose two. So yeah. <laughs> weren't worth gonna ground really, was it? Not really. Well if I say it weren't worth gonna ground, you've saved your apothecary. I've, yeah, I've saved the apothecary, so your apothecary's still alive. But Oh well, still lost two. Next. Uh, I'll do bikes then. Yep. Right, well, where, where is it? Yeah. Right, so his Terminators have opened fire down here, taking out one bloke. And not really much else for him to be able to do. His uh, guys here also opened fire, took a couple of the uh, assault squad out as well. Right, so You mean two guys though. Yeah, the sergeant and the power sword, which is never a good thing. Right, so he's going to have now these guys uh, charging and they're going to charge into, I'm guessing, the assault marines. I'm guessing they're not yes. charging the dread. No. <laughs> no. Unless you roll a double one, you're kind of in, really. We'll let you roll the charge. Go on, before I do my overwatch. That's so it's going to be four inches because yeah. I'm in cover, so that's definitely going to be in. So we've just done the butchery. The apothecary's been killed in a challenge. Great. <laughs> Uh, a lot of the other unit has gone down as well because of a, he's got death dealer rule which allows him to plus one when he's within a short range and then if he outnumbers me he also gets extra attacks my downside then, though is if i ally with anybody i can't use any of their abilities that's not really a downside is it Mills? well it is because it is. any any of warlord charts that you can share with me as well, being a blood angel player yeah yeah it's, you know uh, horus allows you to outflank yeah. Because you are part of my army. If you have a warlord in, it's like, oh yeah, you can reroll once. No, I can't. I am, I am effectively because this is my dead pile here. 
and that's Mills's dead pile over there. I am getting mullered. I'm proper well, getting mullered. It's the, uh, it's the revenge. Right, it is the revenge. He is getting his revenge. Let me take my turn two. <laughs> I can't believe we're only on turn two. Normally, this type of game doesn't have this many sort of no, casualties. Yep. Yeah. So let's uh, see what the Blood Angels can do and try and claw this back. I've got All right, so the Blood Angels, they've moved back to try and deal with the Melter Gun team. They've piled out. They're not on top foot, they're on bottom. They've piled out to try and take out that. And, of course, I'm going to try and have a shot at this Contemptor. Um, the Assault Command Squad has moved over here. I've not got a lot left, personally. I think I've lost a good chunk of my forces, especially with Spartan dying as well. That's not good. Right, Melter Gun, then, is going to go into the Contemptor. He misses. Well done, lad. So the multi metal from here and the twin Laz will go into the Contemptor and the second twin Laz using Machine Spirit will go into your Doradio. So the Doradio, missed, re-roll, still missed. <laughs> Change some dice. I thought you'd have put everything into that Contemptor. No, no. Um, multi melter it hits. Now this is going to be, because it's definitely within 12, isn't it? I don't know, you've got to go for a weapon, haven't you? Not the hull, port, not yeah. the hull anymore. That's a good point. Yeah, you're within 12. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. So it's got a glancing hit. Christ's sake. <laughs> yes, yeah, she calls the glancing, glancing hit. Last cannon, twin linked, hit. And penetrates. Yes, it yes, pens. pens. <coughs> It's a five, I believe. That's a weapon destroyed. That's six. Yeah. No, it's a four, so it's gone up to five. No, that's what I mean. Into five uh, weapon destroyed. In that's five immobilised, six weapon Ooh. destroyed. Might be. We'll check that. So now onto the Terminators. It was just a weapon destroyed result, so it's down to one whole point left. Terminators are now going to go into these. These are the bolters with re-rolls. I don't have any dodgy <coughs> rules. <laughs> you mean rules that you'd love? Yeah, that is true. Force to save. So that's four saves, armor, standard armor saves. Loses one. Got a bit closest. And I've got two assault cannons which I have to roll for separately. That's two hits. Because they can explode on a flurry of ones. And that's another hit. So I've only got three hits. Now it's a strength six weapon with rending. Now the six will become AP2, that'll just punch one straight out, and then the other two is wounded. And so that'll be another two, two gone. gone. And then a bolt pistol from the apothecary. Hits. And doesn't do anything. So the Volkite, they're going to fire again at their opposites. See whether or not I can try and whittle some of those guys down. Freeze. Roll that one again. So that's a lot better than last time. <laughs> I'm surprised you've gone for them though. And then twos. They're on an objective. If I can break them off. Who is? They're not. Oh, they're not, no. Mm -hmm. They are. Never mind. I just don't like them shooting at me. <laughs> so six. Them. Six armor saves, sir, of three plus. I didn't shoot at them, did I? No, no, but you could shoot at the... Uh... One. One. And another wound. Still one. So still lost one. It's not enough for a break test that. Lovely. Yeah, but I thought you might have gone for them to have a make them ever break test. No, it's fine. You could have... Inferno pistol. That's not a plasma pistol. I do apologise, it's the only figure I had, so that's bolt pistols. So one inferno pistol into the tactical squad. He missed. <laughs> I'm doing really well. <laughs> and four bolt pistols. Two hits. Two wounds. Two armor saves. One goes down. And I can't fire my pistols into combat. Oh no. <laughs> Those are dead as well, my friend. See my dead piles growing. By little by little. 
Not enough. Not enough, Mills. Not enough. Right, we're going to go then? into some charging. Oh, I thought it was my turn. Because no. they get out in an assault vehicle, they can charge. They're going to charge a motor gun team. Did they get out of an assault vehicle? Were yeah. they exploding? Yeah, you still classes coming out in an assault it? vehicle. Yeah. And these guys are going to charge that tactical squad. So we'll do the overwatch off camera and show you some results. Okay, we've actually done the combat. Uh, down here, the bike's just finished off the, uh, the rest of the chaplain plus his uh, squad. The guys over here waded through the, only losing one of a number, really actually waded through that tactical squad. They did break, but they didn't manage to chase them down, which is a bit of a shame. So they're only an inch away. Um, and then these guys, they just absolutely annihilated the um, metal gun team. Yep. And my fault, I forgot to charge that contemptor in to these guys, because I couldn't see him. You see, standing here, it's quite hidden. Yeah, <laughs> That, that red dreadnought's camo. It's that like red that dreadnought, building. yeah. He's definitely camouflage next to that green building. I thought it was an icon of a Mechanicus in red. <laughs> See? Right then, so it's going to be uh, Mills' turn next. It's going to be his turn three. We'll just roll to see if there was rally. Which yes, they do. they do. So they can move three inch and snap fire. We can't charge. Can't snap fire, can't do anything, can we? No, we can snap fire. We can snap fire, yeah. Really? I thought yeah. it would just do nothing. No, you can snap fire still. Right, so it's going to be his movement turn. Right, so Mills has moved about. Bikers are going after those guys. The Terminators are going after the Terminators. He's just consolidating his position down here. I do think this command squad and captain might die. Hopefully. <laughs> Hopefully, yeah. So, these are the Seekers opening fire first at the command squad. Yep. All bolters. All bolters. You need twos to hit, because the Seekers, and you need fours to wound. That's six. I'm going to allocate that six to your power sword. Oh, right, yeah, because you've got... Because I forgot I fucking have that, my power sword's wonky on that. Uh, right, no problem, so roll that separately then, unless you want to change some colours. I'll do that. Yeah. And it didn't wound, did it? And it didn't so wound. Got two normal armour. Two normal armour, I'll just take that on me, uh, guy that's closest. Two saves. Uh, these? Yep. The bikers. Ooh. That's 14 shots. Needing three zero rolls. Needing twos. I mean, oh. death dealer roll. Yeah, yeah. God damn it. That wall annoys me. All hit. Yep. So you get advantages for being close, advantages for being in combat. Ooh, tell yeah, you. That's... <laughs> hey, that's no compared to plus one to wound. Yeah, oh, you know that uh, that dread that you can't hurt? I can now. Yeah, well, I can't hurt dreads, you don't apply to that. Plus one to wound? Yeah, well, in, in eighth, it's, eighth it's very devastating in eighth. It's very devastating in eighth. So needing fours. So you have eight. And the captain is going to be the closest guy again. I'm not... I'm just going to see if I can just hopefully tank it. So the first four. So he does take two wounds. That's not good because he's only got three. <laughs> so, eh? Uh, uh, oh, you might have. Hang on. Right. So he's only got one left. So allocation. Allocate to somebody else. Allocation. Allocation. And allocation. So all of those. I've all only got three guys left. So I'm going to have to roll the first three. Yeah. Which they're fine. And then another one. Is also fine. So yeah, so I lost two wounds <laughs> off my faces down to one left. That's not good. <laughs> yeah. That's not good at all. Not good. That's no good. It's got a dice to represent that. I've got to mention down here, this thing did its heat blast over all these units, killed two contempt killed two breaches, managed to kill his own contemptor. <laughs> So now his Dreadio is firing everything it's got into these guys. And it's heavy bolters and only three shots with rerolls, mate, because it's twin linked. Yeah. So you've got... No, it's two. They're not twin linked, are they? No, I think they are, no. Right. So this is going into... He does get to reroll that, those twos. because no, first... Two plus to hit on the Oh, radio. yeah, two, two plus to hit on the Dreadio. I forgot about that. So the last cannons have wounded. So they are six up saves. Well, I'm in cover. Oh yeah, so yeah, you know I'll save, and then you've got armor save. And then armor save. So I'm gonna take some armors first. They're fine. I'll re-roll that one. 
No, I lose one, and then two cover saves of four plus for the ruins. So I lose another, so I lose two men. Yeah, my, my melter gun was the closest there. Yeah, that was a mistake. Damn it. Right, next unit then, sir. I'm going to fire my rockets into side of your... Side armour of the Contemptor. And he does get to re-roll his armour penetration dice on this. And I've only lost one. Can everybody see? Yes, because that's why we're getting down to look at earlier. Right, yo. Go ahead then, sir. Freeze to hit. Failed one. Oof. What a letdown. Strength eight versus armour 12 at the side. So they've failed. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. So that's three penetrating hits so far. It's enough to kill me if I fail to save them. Followed by another three. Oh, six penetrating hits on the dread. Oh, I don't think he's going to live. Now he's gone. The penetrating hits can't cause him to explode, so he's just no, a wreck. No. So he's just a wreck. So I've lost my contempt to... Oh they've dear, gone. they've gone. They've gone, they've gone. They've snapped fire. I've got them to go. I've got the Terminators and this tactical this unit to go. And, and them to do. Volkites. So his Terminators are going next. Uh, two Plasma Blasters. All hit. No ones. She did actually do quite a lot on them last time. That wasn't recorded. So I'll my Plasma Blasters. Yep. I have eight guys, don't I? Eight guys left. I think you've lost two. I ain't lost no Terminators. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Hmm? Two, four, six, eight, ten. Ten. Sorry. Yep, my mistake. Alright, my brain's not working. Six. So these are freeze to hit with re-rolls because they are classed as twin link bolters. Two split. Alright, yeah, yeah, death dealer. Mm -hmm. Hit. Can't wait for Blood Angel shit to come out, <laughs> tell you. You ain't gonna get stuff like I know. This. I'm just gonna You're have just... Sanguinus who's just gonna be a badass. You know he's gonna be a badass. <laughs> he's not, he's just gonna be a corpse on some stairs. Yeah, well, alright, <laughs> Eventually he'll be a corpse on some stairs. <coughs> you roll that. Okay. That one. Yeah. Yeah. I've changed the colour of that dice. Because yeah. <laughs> that's plasma. <laughs> So you've got four plasma. Yep. Which will be first, I'm guessing. Yeah. I've done the same again here. I've put an assault cannon right at front. <coughs> like an idiot. You've got four plasma. And 11 and normal. 11 normal armor. So the four plasma. <coughs> so I save one. Apothecary kicking in. So I lose one from the plasma, which unfortunately is him. And then I've got 11 normal. So 11 normal, one, and that's safe. Not bad, not bad. Not bad at all, that actually. <coughs> Did lose an assault cannon now. And then these lads here. Oh, there's these two squads. These two, yep. So. Right, okay, go. <coughs> oh, Mills is dying. Needs freeze to hit. I know his captain is within uh, six inches, but you can't re roll ones in this edition. Oh, but it's alright, it's alright. I'm happy. We just be death dealer though. Yeah. Swines. <laughs> <laughs> re roll that? Yeah. Okay. There you go. The rule for our re rolls is if you can't balance the dice on top of it, it's cocked. Yes, yes, no, that can be quite severe. Yes, nice. So you've got seven. Seven on these two here. They're only just dead! God damn it! Now, Mills's Volkite's opened up. And he's done 18 wounds to my Terminators. <laughs> and I fail one. And the Apothecary doesn't save him. So I take another hit. And that saves. 
That wasn't too bad, actually. No. It's the two up save. That's, yeah. that's what you that's, need against them. But yeah. the, the weight of fire, yep. if you had a bad roll, you feel it then, don't yeah, you? Yeah, you do. Well, you're feeling it at a minute anyway. But. I am feeling it at the moment. I'm... Uh, I'm not. I'm not surviving very well here. I'm. I'm down a lot of guys. Uh, I'm surprised they're all right, but I've got a funny feeling there's going to be a charging bike unit. Yeah. I'm going to try. I'm going to try charging two squads. Which one? Because um, tactical marines can't charge. They're going into. Oh, yeah. They're going to try for your terminators. They're going to try to go into terminators. It's going to be hard. They're going to go into them. And they're going to try and go into them. Right. No problem. We'll do some Overwatch and come back into the fight. <laughs> We're going to do each combat separately, so this one first, the Apothecary is going to go first. He hits three times, and he needs freeze to wound because of the Blood Angel rule. He wounds three times. So three wounds on your termies, but it is a <coughs> two-up save. Also, Doesn't lose any. And then it's you say fists. Got, you say I've got three that weren't in. Two. Two at the back, two that's not in. Two Everyone two else is. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And I've got... Eight attacks when we termin. The two attacks apiece terminators, and unless they've errated it, I don't think the sergeant gets a plus one. No, they aren't. Still two apiece. Unle again, unless they've er errated that. Eight. So you've got eight, eight, sixteen attacks there, sir. And I've got eight coming back. So I'll do me eight. Oh, that's not good. I only hit four times. It's forced to hit, and it is four wounds. Four wounds. Four upsets. Yep. Save two. Ooh, save two. So we do two at the back. Yeah, two at the back. And then these coming back at you. Yep, needing four. This is going to work. <clears throat> no. Two's yeah, to wound, though. No? Less than yours. Yeah, that's true. Two's to wound, though. No? That's six. Nice, he's got more wounds. <laughs> <coughs> and everyone's got a five up save because I've got a refractor field in there as well. That's the difference, my four up to your five. Yeah. Which means that they're all dead. That's five fails, and that's five guys left in the squad. So all of them are dead. So this combat here, Praetor's going to go first. He needs threes followed by fours. That's including his special rule. Only one. So he only kills one before the combat starts. And then I've got a power sword. Might as well do that now. Three attacks. Yeah, three. Initiative three. Yep. These are, these are the same initiative. He needs threes to hit, which he only hits once. And he needs fours to wound for the Blood Angel rule. And doesn't wound. Yeah. Power weapon in blue. Not you that it matters for you. Yeah, it doesn't really matter for his power weapon on this one because they're only AP three. So you need fours to hit. And then you need force to wound. That's pretty good. That's a good, that's a good hit. Did you do your hammer or half? Uh, I didn't. Uh, How many got in? Three that weren't in. Right, so you've got three. Three weren't in. No. None. No. Right, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Seems to be when we go back and do something you missed there, Mills. It always fails. Yeah, it always <laughs> fails. That's why, so what you should do is let me shoot first. Yeah, yeah. And then after I've rolled my wounds, you should have gone, oh, you forgot your death dealer roll. That's a, yeah, good idea. Good idea, that, yep. Yeah. Then you wouldn't have done it, yep. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, that's another good round of yeah, uh, wounding there as well. Yep. Yeah. So I'll take that. Ten. Ooh. Two, three, four, five, six, <coughs> seven, eight, nine, ten. This is going to work. I'm assuming you're taking it on these um, first. Yeah, yeah, but they've only got one wound apiece and two plus armor on all. Yeah, them, I so. know. That. That's where I said I'm assuming you're taking it on them first. Tanked it. Not gonna matter. it. Absolutely tanked it. So my power fist and your power fist and axe. Yep. So I'll, I'll do me. Yeah, your power fist one it, Kills and it'll one. kill one. And then my power fist is two attacks. I'm not charged. That's one hit. Doesn't murder anybody. <laughs> That's not good. And the power axe is two hits. He's strength five, so that's four. He's going to need threes. And he does kill another one. So I think I'll take the power sword off. And I'll just, just have a look at my warlord tree. 
Right, yeah, so because he's got Paladin of Glory, he does plus one to the wounding score. So, we a minus of three. Seven. That's going to be a fail. That's nine, isn't it? Nine. Eight, seven, six with a minus. Oh no, it's only a minus two because I lost one. So he's actually, you've drawn, haven't you? Yeah. Yeah, so he's okay. So we're he's still fine. in combat. So we're still locked in combat over there. He does manage to claim that objective. And he's got that objective. Where's the other one? You've got that objective. So he's going to go up to five points. He's managed to sweep clear all these guys down here. I forgot to take a break test with these. They're okay. He's, he's sweeping, sweeping across. The battlefield, the Bloody Angels have been utterly annihilated uh, on their on their road to terror. <laughs> Even though he is going for a loyalist Lunar Wolves army, it doesn't really matter. Um, yeah, uh, I think we're going to find out what's going to happen in my turn, <coughs> and then we'll decide what to do after that. We'll see. Oh we'll see how many, uh, how many how many people, tactical marines, how many you tactical can marines are from the blob squad. Yeah, 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 that's pretty much that's not what's going to happen. Well, that's the one that's right. then. Uh, I'm going to... This guy here has shot and done nothing. And then it's up to this guy. Now, he's going to kind of block line of sight for that last cannon. Now, two of my weapons can fire at full effect, but to be able to split fire, I've got to use power of machine spirit. So I can't use that weapon. So I'm going to have to use the power of the machine spirit weapon on that one to shoot that one, while the melter, which Ren has to use... Snap. Snap. And then that one fires at that one. I'm assuming so, you're going to go for that hoping, I am. You're hoping to try and make it explode. Yes. That would be a good idea, actually, to be honest. So I'm going to fire this one first into that. It's a flyer, so I'm going to need a six. And a reroll. Nothing. Melter. Melter. Nope. Last cannon. Hits. <laughs> Bounces off. I don't think my dice rolled more than a four, man. <laughs> So, I've not really done very well here. Some bolters from here. We'll find out what I can do. Right, these guys, about five bolters in range, gonna fire at those tactical marines. For God's sake, two. Two? <laughs> None. Into the assault phase. <laughs> yeah. Breta. Needs threes, and then he needs fours, because it's a toughness five vehicle. So he does kill two. Slices and dices. And then you get a chance to attack first, Air Mills, because both of mine now are initiative one. Yeah. So it's you with your power swords. Yeah, it doesn't make no difference for that, though, does it? Two attacks apiece, isn't it? Yeah. It doesn't make no difference, though, because no, it's no. saves. Really. One hit. No no. And then initiative one. Initiative one, power fist. One hit. So just take one out. Power fist coming back. Two hits. <coughs> kills two. Oh no, yep, kills two because I'm thinking of new addition. And then a power axe. That will kill another one. So it does wipe the squad out. And I lose my power axe. In fact, no, I think the power axe is probably more useful. I need a power fist. Well, there's only two left, so we did manage to wipe out the bikers, but I've got to face a flurry of shots. Oh, yeah. Is that on my turn? Because they'll be doing Fury at Legion, because yeah. they've stood still. Yeah, and there's still more, they'll than, be doing Fury more at than five, Legion. isn't it? I think if you've got more than five, you can do it. Yeah. Right. Um, I actually do think I've lost a game there. Eh? I can't I know, claim I think, that objective. I think, I think you're so close, you might be able to win. <laughs> no. <laughs> Not <laughs> unless this land raider starts killing 20 men at a Two, turn. Three, four. You've knocked a point off. I've mate. knocked a point off. So even the victory point wise, you're still you're four points ahead. I haven't got enough because you managed to get the three first closest ones quite early. I managed to have these two, but I've not been able to knock you off the others. I do think I'm going to have to call it there. I'll be honest, because uh, I ain't really done much. I know I wiped out the bikes, and when Praetors do yeah, get... When, when you look, though, it's like the Melter Gun team's expensive, the bikes yeah. are expensive. Yeah. I know there's not a lot of models there, yeah, but yeah, yeah. 
in them two units alone, there's 600 points at least. Yeah. And your Volkites did quite well as well, wiping certain units. Oh, now. yeah. Knocking them down to less than half, making them not what, very effective. What I've found in 7th edition compared to 8th is 7th edition is priority targets. Yeah, it is. And so Melter Gun Team's 325. Yep. And Outrider Team's 340. So nearly yeah, 700 yeah. points in them two units. Yep. That's a lot of points, but that's it. It's target priority. Mine, yeah. straight away, Last Cannon Team. Yep. Last Cannon Team, because they could have hurt me dreads. And they could have picked off these. Yep. And your Volkites were a bit of a... I'd have preferred to hit your Command Squad. But you couldn't see them. But I couldn't see them. Yeah. They they would have been the first ones to cop for yeah. orbital bombard. I think as well if the command squad would have uh, wiped out and that tactical marines, that might be slightly different down here. I don't know. Tactical marines ain't done out since. I know we haven't, but they're claiming them. that objective. I can't stop them from claiming that objective because the command squad with the praetors are quite hard, oh, especially yeah. the blood angel ones. The blood, the blood angel, angel ones, ones for the plus one to wound, definitely. Yeah. yeah. Um. But like I've told you. For that, I not necessarily how they are armed as they are, but I definitely want the same. A prey to a jump pack, a command yeah. squad with jump pack, because I can benefit from the bulky and the death dealer rule. Yeah. Yeah. Packing four attacks on charge. Yeah. It, that can hurt. It can, especially if you equipped them with axes and things of that nature. Well, mine, striking just, initiative one. mine would just be axes and power swords. Power really. swords, yeah. Right, well thanks for watching. <laughs> Please like, share, subscribe, hit the notification button if you're wanting more. Tell people to, to the prefer 7th or 8th. Well, we're going to be doing more. Oh, we're yeah, going to, def um, we've done a, more, definitely got a 7th edition Horus Heresy game in the bank now. Um, uh, we do play the 8th edition Horus Heresy game, which does pretty well. A lot of people seem to like those videos. So that's what we have got a 7th edition one. To see what prefer, people differ. People prefer watching 7th or people Yeah, prefer leave us some 8th. comments. Uh, just tell us what you, which one you actually prefer watching. When you get to the end of the video and uh, i do have t-shirts at teespring uh just search rootstem gaming i'm on twitter which is rootstem multimedia i'm on facebook which is rootstem multimedia and i'm also uh on uh, patreon which is rootstem gaming right thank you very much guys for watching see you next time